What does it sound like down below? Look at my face, come on! <laughs> <laughs> We're flying! <laughs> Hello there, welcome to Sailing NV. We're a sailing family pursuing an unconventional dream of sailing around the world in our recently converted ex Bonde Globe Open 66. Join us this week, where after a wet start to our trip through the Torres Strait, surfing down some big ocean waves, we finally open our last big racing head sail and start to really fly, reaching our top speeds yet. I won't do a close up. Okay, now I'm close up. <laughs> the first few days of an ocean passage are often about adjusting to life on the ocean waves, getting used to living in an environment that is being constantly tossed around, <laughs> and to the new rhythm of watch keeping and sleeping. Often it can be a bit of a struggle to sleep really deeply during these days, sometimes due to the excitement of being out on the ocean again, or because the conditions are knocking you about a bit, or both. But after these first few days, you usually start to settle into a watch rhythm and the motion of the ocean, sleeping better and feeling better all round. The ocean has a special way of soothing and calming, so that any worries and concerns about the boat or things you left behind on land gradually fade away as you immerse yourself in the present moment and the tasks at hand. <laughs> For us, the conditions also improved. The sun came out to warm us up and the waves smoothened out a little. Even Solo was feeling better, and he managed his first wee of the trip. You had a nice long wee this morning, didn't you? In case you were wondering, the reason you often see Timo in this reclined position in the cockpit is because he stays in the cockpit all night, on call, in case he's needed. So before he goes down to rest during the day, he spends sunrise here with Nemo. Average is between 9, 9.5 and 10.5. Yeah, some time on the surf we got. But you saw 17? Yeah, so 17.5. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Nemo. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> Unfortunately, however, after only a few hours of enjoying this big sail, we were already starting to see holes appear. So, knowing that our days with this last big head sail were numbered, we wanted to make the most of it.
now jump out to the waves and now whoa Nemo, microfish, Nemo. Oh Nemo. wow, microfish, where? It's a fly fish. You can eat. Anyone that's ever crossed an ocean will know that it's a special time. Distancing yourself from all the hustle and bustle of land and civilization, giving you a unique sense of freedom, unlike anything else. So it's day four, and um, day five, no? day five, day five. Day four. we started on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Day four, wind died finally a bit today, and the waves. We did our our highest like 250 nautical miles yesterday in 24 hours and we're maybe one third of the way through the trip uh, let me show you the chart here oh. so we came
came from Vanuatu there and that's the Torres Strait. Still, still about 600 miles to go. So we had pretty rough conditions the first couple of days. So a, lot, a lot of green faces. <laughs> We had some fast sailing with a big, uh, big Genoa top speed. What did we get? 17.5? 18? That'd be 18. 18.9. Woo! But the sail now has a bit of a hole, so we're not sure how much longer it's going to last. If anyone's interested in sponsoring our new sails and seeing their company logo all over them as we surf down waves, please get in touch. And we've got a very weird looking boat on its way to us at the moment. Vessel incoming. So that's the second tanker we've seen in the last day. That means we're getting closer to the entrance of the Torres Strait or the shipping channel. We also use this ease in the conditions to improve our personal <laughs> hygiene. After all, we wanted to be looking our best by the time we reach the Torres Strait. What's it doing? Getting all the tangles out. We've got a few knots. You need some conditioner. into a male shower room. feeling a bit better now. <laughs> and so that was the end of another beautiful day aboard the good ship Envy. If you enjoyed this video we'd really appreciate it if you could like, comment, share it with your friends and if you'd like to see more exclusive content from us or to buy us a coffee or a new sale why not join our Patreon or coffee community? I'll put the links in the description. Thank you.
So we'll love you and leave you with some last few minute clips of Envy out there in her element. Join us next week when we finally enter the Torres Strait. And that's when the fun begins. So then we've got to go through all of this. Oof. Look at that.